Hello everyone, I'm David Adler, President of AJA, and I thought I would this year provide a Rosh Hashanah New Year's message via video. Uh, as you can see in front of me, I have some of the traditional things that we use uh, for Rosh Hashanah, um, wine, Kiddush cup, and we make um, Kiddush for the meals, the blessings. I have here the Machzor, which is the special prayer book used in Rosh Hashanah, even though our community in Melbourne uh, has significant restrictions and won't be able to go to the synagogues. Nevertheless, you can look in the Machzor and uh, see some of the uh, service and content and blessings that are in there as well. Um, I have a pomegranate here, which is one of the traditional foods. Uh, the high number of seeds in the pomegranate um, symbolises the many blessings you should receive in the coming year. But perhaps most commonly of all is the apple and honey. Uh, and if you ask people, why do we use apple and honey and why do we dip the apple in the honey? The reflex answer that you'll get, and it's quite correct, is that it symbolises that you should have a sweet year in the coming year. But it doesn't really address the question of why we use both and why we use them in the particular combination. One of the deeper interpretations is to consider how these exist in nature and there is a lesson. I think most people would agree that a good apple has some degree of sweetness, but honey has a greater degree of sweetness, more intense if you like. In nature, if you happen upon an apple tree, it's possible to just walk up to it, grab an apple, take a bite. But in order to access the sweetness of honey, it's not quite so simple. It might involve some work, it might even involve taking a risk. After all, the bees can sting you. So herein is the lesson that we all have ready access to a basic level of sweetness, the apple, if you like. But in order to access the higher level of sweetness, sometimes it does involve effort and sometimes it does involve risk. So my wish to all the uh, members of AJA, our supporters, our followers, and indeed, the entire community and particularly reflecting on the difficulties of the past year is that in the coming year we should enjoy not just the apple level of sweetness but the honey level of sweetness as well. Shana tova, ketiva v'chatima tova to uh, all of you and may uh, the next year be way better than the previous one.